Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, and welcome back to 8-Bit Summer. This is Simon's Quest. Yes. I don't think any explanation beyond that is needed. Please tell me I don't have to reset my... Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I need to reset my controller, that's gonna be a bad thing, but... Alright. So, welcome to it. <laughs> Lord knows I put off doing this game for a long-ass time. Mainly because I just didn't want to go through all the trouble of trying to remember everything again. So what I did was I actually drew myself a little makeshift map here. If I get a chance, I might just actually... Like, take a picture of it with my phone and put it up on the screen. Can I... Oh. Okay, apparently you confirm with B. Not with A. That's weird. This is actually one of my favorite town themes in any game ever. Okay, just thought I'd let that play out a little bit. Oh man, so, um, <clears throat> fair warning, the first part of this LP is probably gonna stay Link. Like, it's gonna suck ass. From a straw. Because... A lot of the, um, a lot of the early stages of this game is just you grinding because there's stuff you need to pick up, but that stuff costs hearts, and hearts are your currency in this game. As in previous Castlevania games, they also serve as ammunition for certain weapons, but well, you know, it's <laughs> but you don't actually. I mean, not all weapons cost hearts. My. Whew! Okay, alright, um... But yeah, so... Oh, look at that, jeez. Can't even wait to get started here, man. Good lord. Keep right in the middle of the whip animation and everything. Okay, so when it gets to night time, enemies all have double HP. Which means it takes twice as long to kill them, naturally. And your best time... to actually or one of the best ways to grind hearts in the game is just come right up here into town and kill the zombies because they drop the medium hearts, which are worth four. And you can just kind of, well... I'm not sure if there's one that comes from the left. I guess not. Let's see, where's that spawn point at? If I can figure out where he spawns, I can get him a lot faster than normal, but... Okay, right there. Guess that's about right, wherever that crack is. So this is basically what you do, you just... Boom, boom. It's not getting very good heart drops here so far. It's pretty much random whether or not the enemies are going to drop hearts, but... If they do, it's a good thing. So, I'm just going to do... This is what I'm going to do for the first part of this. Well, I mean, we might get more done than just that. Because this doesn't take that long. I mean, day and night, it's like three minutes. I was thinking I might try to go for the best ending in this game, but... Um, well, that's a whole other story. I think to get the best ending, you have to beat the game in seven days or less. Then you saw how fast night came there, and it's the morning's gonna be here before we know it. So, like... The thing is, time doesn't pass when you're in the mansion. And that's where you're going to be spending a lot of time, so... Hopefully. So this is, like, really boring, isn't it? Wish I could find a way to make this more exciting. Well... I could sing. Wait, what? Okay, my game froze for a second there. I'm not sure why I did that. For a second I thought it was mooring time, but I guess not. Did I mention we're doing this in front of a church? Quite frightening. Almost as frightening as what happens inside. Oh, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Totally kidding there. Oh, this is boring. So each of the hearts that are getting dropped here is worth four. And also, there is an experience system in this game. So eventually, if I pick up enough of these, start flashing, and in a 
and it gets stronger. And that's cool. Because that's why we gain experience in games, is to get stronger. So that's kind of how it works. There's three different kind of hearts you can get. Small ones are worth two hearts and one experience. So the medium ones, which I'm picking up now, are worth four hearts and three experience. And the full ones, which are worth six hearts and five experience. So... I believe I will do that, yes. I could get the Thorn Whip, but it's not really worth the hassle. I think I'm just gonna head on out and see if we can't get to that first dungeon. So if you look here, you can see my experience is 96. But the thing about the experience is that sometimes, just out of the blue, you'll stop gaining experience. You'll, co you'll, you'll continue to get the hearts, but they'll stop giving you experience. It's like, why is that? For the longest time as a kid, I didn't understand that, why I did that. But eventually I figured out that, like, if you want to keep gaining experience, you have to actually progress in the game. The Whether or not you get experience depends on what area you're in. So if you're not gaining experience, you need to progress to later in the game, to a later area. And then you start gaining experience again. Up to level 6, which is the max, of course. Sometimes, when I play this game when I was younger, I would, like, I would go straight for the Morning Star <clears throat> as quickly as I could. And some, I don't know, I was tempted to try that this time, but the monsters on that first screen to the left are just, like, ridiculous. I'm actually gonna take a little shortcut here. How many hearts do we have? 106, that's not enough. So we'll do the mansion first. <laughs> So I'd go and get a chain whip if I went downstairs, but it's 150 hearts for that, and I don't exactly have 150 hearts. Ooh, you almost killed me. Should knock me right in the water there. Get every heart I can here. And here's our first dungeon. Recognize this? <laughs> there was a screen on Castle in the Darkness that looked kind of like that. So there's actually an invisible platform here, but you have to be holding the white crystal to actually see it. You can jump on it without the white crystal, but... Oof, okay. Yeah, when I was at Name That Tune at MAGFest, um... They played this music, and of course they asked what game is it from. And I said Castlevania 3 like a dumbass. What in the world I was thinking there. So, you're ba basically your main objective in each mansion is just to get to the end of it, but also... Jeez, what the hell that was. I don't remember where all the invisible floors are either, so... Ugh. Good lord. Is that a big heart? I think he just dropped a big heart. Didn't know you could get those this early in the game, huh? Ooh, please don't play do, 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 do. It's like they just didn't want to put any effort into blah, blah, blah. See, sometimes you can tell where the invisible floors are because the monsters will turn around before they walk over them. So there is that, but yeah. Now I'm pretty sure these two blocks right here are invisible. Yeah, they are. But wait. Okay, good. I thought the oak stake was down there. In each mansion, there's a person, you can see down there, that sells oak stakes. And you need the oak stake to actually finish the mansion, so... Well, these guys are annoying. Yeah, holy water in this game doesn't leave behind the explosion like it did before. So that's a little unfortunate. But you can use it to scout for invisible floors, though. Just kind of throw it, and if it falls through the floor, you know it's invisible. So that's pretty simple. There he is. Invest in an oak stake. I don't I believe I will. Be a, yeah. Destroy the curse, and you'll rule Brahms Mansion. Cool. But destroy the curse, I'm gonna rule the whole freaking world, man. 
I think I have that on a tape somewhere. I was reading over the clues and talking about why they didn't make any sense. Because a lot of them don't. And like, it's like, destroy the curse and you'll rule Brahm's mansion. I'll rule the whole world if I destroy that curse. There's one right there. See? The lucky thing I could tell it was there because the skeleton turned around before it got there. A lot of those floors are in just the right spots. If, they, if you don't know they're there, and you fall through them, that's a cool sound effect. Then you'll, like, pretty much have to go through the entire mansion again because you fell through. So, don't do that. Of course, on the upside, they make it a lot easier to get back out, which, of course, you will have to turn around and actually leave the dungeon yourself. You don't get warped out or anything like that. Holy crap. Please don't let any of these floors be invisible. Me and my puny-ass penis whip. What is the last Castlevania game I've actually done? Well, besides RF Sorrow. Oh, uh, please. Please, please, please! I died. I did. I died. I think this is invisible. Okay, maybe it's not. Well, two times in a row, man! Why can't I... Oh. Yeah, I... What a pain in my ass, boy, I tell ya. I don't even think you can actually get out through here. No, you can't. What am I even doing? Ugh, slow motion. <laughs> they have these little traps to set up though in these places. So that it's real easy to like think that you're going back and then you're really not. Jeez, I can't believe I died two times. What the hell man. Crazy man. Yeah, see, even if you're not holding the crit- oh, wow, I was holding the crystal, never mind. Huh, so, that's the end of the first dungeon. I'm gonna head back here and see if I can pick up that new whip. I don't usually get the chain whip in this game, but usually I go straight for the morning star. But, you know, because the chain whip is, like, still short, and I'm more interested, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a whip that does a lot of damage, but the length matters too. And the chain whip is actually still really short. But if you do buy the chain whip, you're, I mean, that means you're going to be stuck with it for a while. I mean, even the thorn whip, which is the second level whip, is still noticeably longer than your first whip is. Gee, I thought you were a monster. So, let me, uh, let's see. <clears throat> I can get garlic if I go in here. The question is... Oh, jeez. All through that mansion and I didn't even pick up that many hearts. That's bad, because see what's going to happen now is it's going to turn into night. Then I have to wait all night before I can buy the stinking whip. Hmm, the whip is actually up there. In that door right there. But it looks like we need to grind hearts, so... Boy, oh boy. Dude! What are you doing, man? Get over here. Stupid eye! Drop something, please! Oh, jeez, and don't fall in that either. Oh, boy. Well, here we go, guys. We get to... You know what? I'm just gonna go back into the town. It's a lot easier to grind off of those guys. The only problem is... Oh, jeez, we get those things, too. Ugh. These are gonna be a little tougher, because... Because we've advanced in the game, so the monsters are gonna be tougher. Oh man. So here we are, you know, pretty much we're gonna be ending the video the same way we started it, doing this crap. Thankfully, you know, when it comes right down to it, the night is only like three minutes long, I think. So you just do it. Seems like there were seems like there were two zombies to spawn first. There are. If I back up far enough, I can get two of them. Yes. This may just be the best grinding spot in the game right here. Shoot. 
I mean, if you have a better whip, this would definitely be better. No, there is actually a spot that's better, but... Oh, jeez. Now, some towns don't actually have churches in them. So, and I think this might be one of them. I'm not sure. Good. Good. So, but then, and since I didn't mention it, you actually go inside the church, you get healed. So, well, you have to talk to the person, but still, you get healed. So, it's always, it's always a good idea to do that, but just, just be wary that not every town has a church in it, so. But good lord, they're just coming out, coming out the ass, man! Now, when I was a kid sometimes, what I'd do is this. It's like, use holy water for the last hit, because there's less of an animation for it, so you just get it done quicker. But, uh, you know, this is so boring. Oh my god, this is gonna be the most boring video in the world, man! I wish I could think of something to say, man. Boom. I'm killing zombies, what do you know? Well, somehow, I mean, if I thought of something to say in Plants vs. Zombies, this shouldn't be that much harder. Sing along to the music. I'm taking dumps on the toilet seat every day because it smells so bad and I go pew. Ooh. A sound coming through my speakers. I'm sure that mic's gonna pick it up. Because it is a rather. Um, sharp sound? I'm not sure what the word really is there. Thank goodness! So let's at least upgrade our whip before we turn this video off. Because seriously... Sometimes you like to do that. I know a lot of people say, like, how in the world would you know to do that? But it's like, when you're just sitting here and you don't have the 20 minute time limit, you're just messing around. It's like, it's not really that hard to, you know, just to kind of deduce, you know, that, well, maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. And the thing is, even if you don't do it, it doesn't, you know, well, I mean, it's not required, so it's like, you know, let's see, I need to get the blue crystal. Well, I could just keep going ahead. Yeah, we'll do that. So that'll make all this a little bit easier. Okay, maybe that is a little longer than my other whip. Definitely does more damage. Each whip progressively, like, does twice the damage of the one before it. Except for the flame whip, which always bothered me. As a kid, I don't remember where I read it, but, um, I read it. <laughs> but, like, according to some chart I read somewhere, the power of the whips goes normal whip 1, thorn whip 2, chain whip 4, Morningstar 8, and then flame whip 15. And so, like, there will be certain monsters in the game that would still take two hits even after you upgraded to the flame weapon. That always bothered me. Okay, seriously, one of these. Here we go. Oh. Okay, so something else I didn't mention was... Let me get these guys out of here. This. That's not the thing I didn't mention. You now possess the Sacred Flame, yeah. Sacred Flame is a nice little weapon. It's, um... Is it costing hearts when I use that? No, I didn't think so. Ow. So, it's bats are annoying. So, I forgot what I was about to say there just now. Holy crap. Ugh, I don't like these spiders at all. Ugh, well, okay. Take a damage boost, that's fine. I'm about to get my ass killed here. Kilt. Kilt him a bar when he was only three. Davy! Davy Crockett! King of the Wild Frontier. Take care of your ass. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I said I was gonna stop the video like ten minutes ago. Maybe we'll stop it when we get to the next town. It'd be nice if I could see what my time was up to, but I forgot to set my windows up. So what do we got here? A 
100 hearts. Is that gonna be enough to... Okay, I was wrong about that last town and the garlic thing. Hey. I forgot to get the dagger, too, when I was in that last town. Well, shoot. Whatever. Get some here, I guess. I don't know if I would sleep here. This is not really that peaceful of a place. Will you buy some garlic? Yes, I will. There's like three different levels of daggers you can get to, and one of them was in that town I was just in. The town where I bought the chain whip. Well, I forgot to get it. And it doesn't matter, because I probably never would have used it. There's nothing in there. Except for some dude. Probably. See, people talk to you, but they never you never know what they're going to say. Yeah, buy some garlic, whatever. You can't tell me what to do. There is actually one thing specifically in this town that I want to get. And, of course, if you played the game, you know what I'm talking about, but since you probably haven't, then why am I even saying that? I don't know. Uh, laurels? I don't really need laurels. That's what I could get if I went in that door, though. I suppose I could get them. Sure, what else am I going to spend my money on at this point? I don't know if I'm going for, like, a 100% run here or anything. Please don't turn tonight before I get here. You motherfucker! See you guys next time. I'm going to grind.